So we're here at Willow Park, guys. And um, I'm here right before the peak season of uh, cherry blossoms. But look, this tree is in full bloom. There's actually a lot of people today. And this tree, I wonder if it's just blooming or... I think this one is just starting to bloom, I think. The Shidare Zakura. So this is the Shidare Zakura, you know, the, the one that sort of like faces downwards. And there are some blossoms that are in bloom, but this one's not yet full bloom. The buds, you see, they're pink. They're getting ready to blossom. Still really pretty though, aren't they? Springtime has really arrived here in Tokyo. Hello everybody! Good to see you guys again! So I'm here at Ueno Park and hey everybody! Good to see you guys again! So I am taking a walk through Ueno Park again. Um, I had to go to the doctor today. I had to see my psychiatrist. I usually go in once every three months to get some medication and to have a chat. But um, yeah, um, I kind of got done early and since um, today's weather forecast um, is uh, rain for the afternoon, I thought I'd get my walk in early today. So this year, as many of you guys probably have heard already, uh, all cherry blossom festivals have been cancelled just like last year and um, no picnicking allowed under the cherry trees and they also put up um, this thing here at, at most of the parks that's the arrow on the ground uh, telling you this is only for people going this way so we are a bit too early for the Somei Yoshino cherry blossoms these are all cherry blossom trees here so usually this area people like to sit and have picnics so they've kind of boarded it up so that people are not able to have picnics under the trees and then this is the direction telling you uh, which side to walk on the street see all this area here usually if it weren't for the pandemic people would have picnics on the grass here but no picnics this year Ueno Park is probably one of my favorite parks in Tokyo because there are a lot of things to see and do here. Um, they have um, all the big museums here, although they are mostly closed during the pandemic, unfortunately. Um, there's a zoo that's actually closed under the state of emergency. <laughs> but the park itself is nice and there are a couple of nice temples. There's a shrine. Um, what else is there? There's a big pond. There's a whole bunch of stuff to do here. There's a really nice Starbucks here as well. So this is the Kan Eiji Temple, Kiyomizu Kan Nondo. And this temple here was established in 1631, I believe. It's a really pretty building, very nice temple. Check out how they blocked all this area. You see, so they've pretty much blocked all the uh, picnicking area, all the grass areas, so that no one can enter and have picnics. All through this area. Yeah, they did a really good job of blocking all the open spaces. Whenever I bring visitors here for the first time, I always take them to that uh, temple. Also, I take them to this shrine. It's a very small shrine, but it's really beautiful. Here's the shrine, guys. All right, let's walk through this shrine. Kind of reminds me of like a miniature, like a super miniature version of uh, the Fushiminari Shrine in Kyoto. It's a small place, but very beautiful and this is in the middle of Tokyo
This is where Shinobazu Pond is. It's, it's one of my favorite areas of the park. I like walking around the pond. Here's a map of the entire park, by the way. Check it out. So that's Ueno Station right here. And we are here. We are right by the pond. This is the pond and uh, this is where I like to walk. I like to walk all around the park. I like to walk in the middle of the pond. It's really nice. And you, here you have all the uh, different uh, museums. Museums here, that's the Tokyo National Museum. That's the Tokyo Metropolitan Art Museum. Tokyo Bunka Kaikan, that's for performing arts. And right next to the pond is Bentendo Temple. This is probably the most popular temple in this park. I don't know if you guys remember when I used to do those check-ins. Well, this is where I came in the middle of winter to ride a boat. I think one of the swan boats. It was so cold, I remember. This is probably my favorite uh, road in Wuhan Park, especially during the cherry blossom season, uh, this road is lined with cherry trees, on, cherry blossom trees on both sides. Just spectacular. I definitely have to come back and show you guys. Unfortunately, they, they even closed this part off, so you can't sit on the benches either. Ah, that's a shame. That's too bad. So I came here hoping to see more sakura trees. I really wanted to show you guys more sakura, but I guess we're a little bit too early. But don't worry, I'll be back when the flowers are in full bloom so that you guys can experience the sakura as well. I'm actually thinking about going to Kyoto during the sakura season, which is like maybe next week or something. I, I thought, you know, I'll just take a bullet train down there and just enjoy the sakura trees. Why not? I don't think it's going to be that crowded um, because they haven't restarted the go to travel campaign, which is actually kind of good because it discourages people from, you know, traveling en masse, you know, to the popular places. So I feel like that might be a good idea for me. Um, I already have some places in mind where there aren't that many people um, but Kyoto is always a great place for uh, sakura and so that's kind of something I'm thinking about. What do you guys think? You think that's a good idea? If not, I was also thinking of going to Nagasaki because um, well number one I'm sure there are places where I can see the cherry blossoms but number two I want to go to house temples which is a, uh, an, an, a theme park based around the Netherlands and um, it's tulip season right now. I think the tulips, the tulip fair, flower fair or something like that. I don't know what it's called but that is happening right now until the beginning of April. So if I want to see that, I really should go um, very soon. I've never seen it. I've always wanted to see it. It's someplace I've always wanted to go and you know, I'm not getting any younger, so that's a possibility. Yeah, but anyway, that's what I'm thinking right now. Yeah, so sorry about the cherry blossoms. I want to show you guys more. Anyway, that's for another video. With that said, please have a great day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. It's pretty, isn't it? 
This is not Someyoshino, but still very pretty. <laughs> 